Hyper-V is a virtualization platform created by Microsoft that allows you to create and manage virtual machines on Windows. It enables you to run multiple operating systems on a single physical machine, providing an isolated environment for testing, development, and deployment. To enable Hyper-V on Windows 10 or 11 using command prompt, follow these steps. Type CMD in the search bar and run command prompt as an administrator. Run the Hyper-V installation command and press enter. Type DISM online. Enable feature. Feature new Microsoft Hyper-V or this command enables Hyper-V, allowing you to create and manage virtual machines in your Windows system. After the command completes successfully, restart your computer to apply changes. Reply to the command with Y. After rebooting, you can verify that Hyper-V is enabled by opening the command prompt again. and type in system info. Look for Hyper-V requirements in the outputs. It should indicate that Hyper-V is available. To open Hyper-V manager, type Hyper-V in the search bar. I run Hyper-V as an administrator. To create a new virtual machine in Hyper-V Manager, click on Action in the top menu and connect to Saver. Select Local Computer and click OK. When done, select the Action tab once again and select New Virtual Machines. Now follow the wizard. Click Next to begin. Give your virtual machine a name. I'm going to call my ultimate trailer and check this box only if you want to store the virtual machine in a different location otherwise choose next to proceed choose the generation of the virtual machine you prefer i recommend you choose the first option which allows for both 64-bit and 32-bit architecture of any operating system click next allocate ram for the virtual machine the default will be fine click next Choose a virtual switch for network connectivity. Then click next. This stage of the process is important. You can choose to create a new virtual hard drive. You can choose to create a new virtual hard disk or use an existing one. Type in the number of size to be assigned in gigabytes and click browse to choose the disk drive you would be assigning size for the virtual machine. Select next to proceed. Select how you want to install the operating system. You could choose to do that later or from an ISO file since nobody uses DVDs anymore. Click browse and select an ISO file if you have any. It could be any versions of Linux, Windows, iOS or the lesser known OS. Click next when done. Review your settings and click finish. Once created, right-click on the virtual machine in Hyper-V Manager and select Start. Connect to the virtual machine by right-clicking it again and choosing Connect. Now the connection will be established and you'll be able to run the operating system on your PC. At this stage, you could choose to install the operating system if you want or just navigate through it for your purpose. To manage the virtual machine, right-click the virtual machine and choose Settings. To adjust resources like CPU, memory and network settings. To shut down, use the operating system's normal shutdown procedure. If delete, right click the virtual machine and select delete. And confirm the prompt. 